You can calculate the surface area of a pyramid by breaking apart its pieces and adding up the sum of those areas. So if we start with our base, we have an equilateral pentagon. So I'm going to draw that in. And in order to calculate the area of that, we need to know its side length and the apothem. So the area of this is going to be the apothem times the side length times the number of sides all divided by 2. Since this is a regular pentagon, we can assume that the five triangles that are formed are all going to be congruent to each other. So once you calculate the area of the base, you're going to have to add in the area of this triangle times however many triangles you have. So let's say you add a heptagon, you're going to have seven triangles that are all going to be congruent to each other, as long as your heptagon is regular. So notice that the height here of this triangle is not called H. In a three-dimensional figure, we're going to call that L, which stands for your slant height. So I'm going to label this as L, and notice that the base of this triangle is also S, your side length. So the area of this triangle is going to be base times height divided by 2, or S times L divided by 2. So if you want to calculate the surface area, which I'll write over here, of a regular polygon with a base that has, that's a pyramid, you're going to need to add up the area of the base, which is A times S times N, divided by 2, and then you're going to need to add in however many triangles you have that are congruent. So that's going to be S times L divided by 2 times N, where N is the number of sides. So you can use this formula. I'm going to erase this dot here. I'm going to extend that. This will calculate the surface area of any pyramid with a regular polygon as a base.